going on, dudes and dudes? So yes, it looks like as the Senior Bowl practices have been starting, especially the Reese's one right now, looks like two wide receivers from USC are performing and impressing. It looks like Brandon Rice and Taj Washington are, you know, really playing well, getting a lot of good highlights out there, doing some nice plays against some really good Defensive players, I know they said Bryce is like he's either impressive or it's kind of questioning just because he's challenging these defenders quite a bit. But what you got to do, you want a guy who could be able to even challenge your own players on the opposite side, on the defensive side. So either way, I still think it's a good thing. And he's still making big plays and big catches as well. So good luck to those guys. And hopefully that game this weekend will be really cool. And then, yes, more junior day stuff and... A lot of future guys either setting visits or getting offers from USC over the past couple of days. Let's just go through some of the main ones that I did see pop up recently. So when it came to an elite edge player, an Oaks Christian edge, and Hayden Lowe, he was high on USC from his recent junior day, so that's good. And then USC did offer an elite 2026 edge player in Xavier Griffin. They also was a four-star linebacker, Christian Thatcher, who was hoping for more visits in the future to USC. So he recently came, if that's good. And offensive lineman Peter Langley or Longy is returning this Saturday. So he was obviously pre there pretty recently. And then a 2025 California cornerback, Tristan Castro, met the defensive coordinator, D'Anton Lynn, and is hoping for a spring visit as well. The elite 2025 edge player, Jared Smith, is going to be visiting this weekend at USC, so we'll look out for that. And then also the elite 2025 wide receiver, Kalik Lockett, is set to visit USC pretty soon. And I thought it was pretty funny because I think it was 247 or on three or whoever it is recently talked about him, put up an article about him. And there was no mention of USC as a team that's pursuing him or anything like this. And, of course, this comes out on USC's side and their site saying that they are going to be visiting soon or he will be visiting soon, hopefully. And, obviously, they have been in contact. But it's pretty funny how USC does not get any love from these recruiting people. And it's kind of becoming more and more of like a why do you listen to them anymore if they're, you know, pretty much bashing your team or not even paying attention to them but I kind of have to just to hear the news throughout all of college football to see if it affects USC or Duke as well but yeah as of right now I'm not going to take every single word they say you know to the bank but either way be looking to see what ends up happening for the future of USC football and beyond. And USC did hire another staff member in Savannah Rayer, her Ryer. Hope I'm saying that correct. She is now an assistant director of recruiting operations. So that's obviously a pretty big thing. I believe Annie Hansen runs the main part of recruiting. So it's obvious that this girl really knows what she's doing. And especially Annie Hansen as well. She runs a lot of the visits and stuff for these schools that come by or even the players individually and they obviously always say they have a great time and it's been one of the better reasons why USC is getting some of the players that they do so definitely very excited to see what Savannah brings to the team and then when it came to the other day a lot of stuff about the Duke players the first and second year players Paolo Boncaro and Derek Lively both made the NBA Rising Stars game. I believe Funkero made this last year as well. But it's really the group of first and second year players throughout the NBA who they think are going to be really good or Rising Stars, as the name says. And they basically play against each other and have a little game. I think it's usually like on Friday when it comes to All-Star Weekend. So it kind of gets the facilities going a little bit and gets these young guys out there to be able to showcase what they can do and it's usually just a big time dunk contest layup who can shoot as many threes or far away threes and all that stuff kind of like how the regular all-star game is as of right now but either way it's always fun to see whether it's USC or Duke guys in this game usually always Duke compared to USC but always fun to see these guys fall out so definitely looking forward to that and then Duke did 
apparently when it comes to FanDuel Sportsbook, they're tied for the 10th best odds to win the national championship this year in March in college basketball. So, I mean, it's a fighter's chance. Obviously, we'll see where they're ranked. They're probably won't even be ranked in the top 10 when it comes to seeding because you'd have to be like at least a three seed. There's a possibility they could be a three seed depending how they do the rest of the season and in the ACC tournament. But, you know, they're most likely going to be a four and five and those are usually like weirder matchups and stuff, but you kind of avoid the number one teams for quite a bit. You might have to play the number two team to get into the final four or elite eight. So either way, looking forward to seeing what this Duke team has ahead of them coming. March is coming pretty soon, so definitely looking forward to seeing what they could do then. And then 247 Sports released their top 10 centers for the class of 2024. And of course, Duke's Patrick and Gangba. The second was ranked number four overall, so that's obviously good. Be able to have another top ranked player, especially top four overall at his position, especially for Duke. Yes, sadly, USC is not on here, but some of the guys that they were able to get in this recruiting class are pretty talented as well. They're just not ranked as high as some of these guys for Duke. But either way, looking forward to seeing what these guys bring in the future for my teams. And, of course, ex-Duke quarterback who transferred to Notre Dame, Riley Leonard, apparently had ankle surgery, which is keeping him out of winter workouts and most likely spring workouts. So, yeah, once again, the injury bug is keeping him from becoming his full potential of a great quarterback. And it is a little bit fun that it's against Notre Dame now because, obviously, USC plays them at some point later this season. But... Yeah, I'm pretty sure most likely by then he will be 100% healthy if nothing bad just end up happening to him. But he does have a bit of that injury bug and will probably hurt his draft stock eventually next draft in the 2025 season. But either way, we'll see what ends up happening with him. And yes, the Lakers did play the second of their back-to-back -back at the Atlanta Hawks and ended up losing that game last night, 122-138. to 138. I mean... It was sort of close at first, and then kind of around halftime and a little bit after, they just kind of blew it out the door, and yeah, everybody really wasn't playing good, and I think even today they said Anthony Davis might be held out because of a hip and heel type of thing. I don't really know what. It kind of seemed when I was watching the highlights, he wasn't out there as much, especially towards the end, but... Yeah, I guess they tried to do something. Even Austin Reeves had a nice game, but I'm pretty sure that's because he stayed in and played for the most part the rest of the game. So either way, yes, it sucks to lose to a team that has even a worse record than the Lakers, but this is stuff we got to deal with and kind of have to start thinking if LeBron is going to get tired of this and doesn't think they can make a good enough trade to make the Lakers team better and decides to opt for them trading him, so, which would be pretty... Freaking interesting, so maybe I might drop some mock drafts with mock trades with that, but we'll see. And yeah, I found out the other day that The Killers, one of my favorite bands since pretty much the early 2000s when they started, are apparently going to have a residency in Las Vegas, which I'm kind of surprised just because when artists do residencies, it's because they're not really as relevant or, you know, they haven't been going out as much on tour. It's a nice, you know, you get to basically perform every day in the same area and it fills up because it's Vegas and you get a nice paycheck for about a month or so. But it looks like they're going to be doing this in August and I guess they're just doing it because they get to stay home basically because they are from Vegas and it just sucks because it's another <laughs> interesting concert-ish thing that I would be into this year. And of course it's around my birthday month, but I don't know. I'll probably be too busy and maybe have gone to another concert at that time, so I'll probably get my concert itch out at some point earlier before then, but you never know, so we'll see, but definitely looking forward to how that ends up going for them. We'll see. And then, yeah, I got a little bit more extra news on Jim Harbaugh's contract with the Chargers. It looks like it's a five-year deal worth $80 million, so around $16 million per year, I believe. And yeah, that's a pretty good deal. It's a little bit more than what most people would get, especially 
with the, the type of guys they have gotten recently who are just coordinators instead of main big time gets like a hard ball. But he's definitely worth every penny. Obviously, we talked about the other day them officially hiring the GM for the Ravens. Well, their GM from the Ravens and Joe Hortiz is obviously going to be a great partner with Harbaugh and then also bringing that strength and conditioning coach from Michigan to the Chargers that has not become official on the Chargers social media but once it is I will put up the picture at some point hopefully soon but everybody keeps talking about as if he is basically already hired and all this stuff so we will see thanks for watching people like and subscribe comment down below let me know what y'all think have a great rest of your day bye